This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey you, my name is Thomas Tom Scott Ridgewell, and welcome back to... Big Podcast! Big Balls! It's the world's best sport podcast where we will discuss Big League Draft. Or as we call it here... CONTENT! Today I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a Draw My Life video or goof around with AI text generation. So I decided I'd just put them both together and make a video that you have no choice but to watch. Not allowed to stop. I'll find you and kill you. I found a website where if I start typing a sentence, it will finish it for me. Thereby making my co-writer Eddie completely obsolete. Eddie, you are fired. Goodbye. <laughs> So without further ado, let's tell you the absolutely true story of my life, as decided by an AI that probably doesn't work very well. <coughs> on the day I was born, the day was a little bit cloudy, and it rained. But on that day, too, my father went to the market. Thanks, Dad. Picking up provisions, I assume? This is my dad. Do did not have much hair, so we'll give him the Homer Simpson. That was supposed to be the connector on his glasses, but I like that being his mouth. <laughs> My dad has the body of a baby, apparently. And he's on his way to the market and brought home a fat cabbage. He took my mother to bed and fed her. I don't know where this thing is gonna go, but I don't like that, it, that my parents are in bed. She's in bed. I am also there. I am baby with beard and I have been swaddled. Now I am apparently a carrot. I'm a good artist. <laughs> my dad, who does not have much hair and has big eyes. <laughs> And what, a cabbage? Is this just a circle? That's a ball. Why don't you fuck off? As he sat down in the corner of the room, his eyes filled with tears of joy. Ah, oh, okay. Dad's eyes filled with tears of joy. There we go. He looks a bit like a shy anime girl. When I came into this world, she was shouting and crying and running about, and I had to call her to stop. Mum, what are you doing? We gotta quickly jump back into uh, what was happening in the exact moment of my birth. Let's assume I'm on the floor here because I've been born and immediately dropped. I'm not happy about it, and I'm a little newborn baby. Let's say this is really early on. They have not even had the time to swaddle me. So I'm dick and balls out. My mum, fucking mad lad, is shouting and crying and running about. My mum is wearing a hospital gown. But it's not all the way done up. There's a little bum. <laughs> this is historically accurate. Do you remember the doctor? He I, he, I didn't mention him, but he was also there. He's trying to catch my mother. He is just doing his job. And as I mentioned, I was calling her to stop. Mother, get a fucking grip. As I lay in her arms, I saw her breast heaving with her cries. The cabbage went sour in her mouth. I took the cabbage and threw it over the wall. Just to clarify, we're back in the bedroom with the with the cabbage. There's cabbage in my mum's mouth. She's crying once again. Oh, mother. Remember, I'm here being swaddled like the little carrot man that I am. And my dad was there too, just to be clear. He wasn't an absent father. <laughs> my mum was eating the cabbage, sobbing in bed. And I'd, I'd had enough. I was sick of it at the hospital. I'm sick of it now. So what happened? I bust out of that swaddle. I took the cabbage and I threw it over the wall and for the first time she looked at me with something approaching tenderness. Kind of fucked up she hadn't done that sooner, but you know, busy running and screaming and eating cabbage. I mean, I, I get it. Cabbage, go fucking bye bye. Yeet. What does tenderness look like? Is that tenderness? I don't get to see it very often. So little naked baby me, threw a cabbage over a wall and for the first time ever, my mum loved me. That's the story of my birth. This is canon. This is law. Didn't get that in complete history of me, did you? And now, a word from our sponsor. Hey, Andy. Hello, I'm Andy, your personal assistant. I need a VPN. A virtual private network? I can recommend 8,352 for the right price. I only need one. Then may I suggest Surfshark VPN? Will it protect my... secrets? It... It sure will. Your passwords and browsing history will be hidden from prying eyes. Like the police? Yeah, I, 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 I guess. Even on public Wi-Fi. Tell me more. Uh, Surfshark has a strict no-log policy, and their camouflage mode prevents your ISP from knowing you're even using a VPN. Can I access... content? <laughs> With over 3,200 servers across 65 countries, you should be able to access content that's not available... Or prohibited. Or prohibited in your country, Jesus Christ. So I can look at whatever I want and no one will know? Yeah, I guess. No one. No one. God, is there a discount code? I don't wanna. Give it. 
to me. No. Do it! If you click the link in the description and use the code TOMSCARFRIENDS, you'll get 83% off your subscription and three months extra for free. Thank you. You're a monster. <laughs> Welcome to the dark web. Today, I'm going to be showing you some illegal Lego building techniques. Yes. Finally! <laughs> stop, stop it. Stop. No, that's it. No, no! When I was a young boy, around seven or eight years old, my family took a trip to Florida. This is that's actually true, that did happen. All right, we got little me. I had a bowl cut because my mum fucking hated me, apparently. I think that's pretty accurate. How do I draw Florida? There is a crocodile. He's got a little tail. He's got an eye. He's got another eye. I've got to draw his teeth. There they are. And they've got spikes on their back, like dinosaurs. I'm a good artist. Oh, he has a gun. And he is wearing a Make America Great Again cap. I can only fit M. He is now Mario. <laughs> I was at the beach with my cousins when a shark came up and almost took me! I was wrong, I assumed he was a crocodile, but he, he's not. He's actually a shark. That's the same but bigger. Sharks have a big fin, right? I don't know what a shark looks like. This is dawning on me. This doesn't look like a shark, this just looks like a worse crocodile. As I ran to safety, my cousin saw me and wanted me to follow. Unfortunately, I couldn't move my arms and legs. Christ, all right. Okay, I'm gonna draw the shark better this time. What's that? Worse. <laughs> I don't know what a shark looks like! I don't know what a shark looks like! It just looks like a really horny dolphin, I think! So anyway, here's the shark. He's got his fist. He's shaking it because he's like, Get back here, you damn kid! And as we said, I'm running away, but I cannot use my arms or legs. I guess I'm doing the worm. These are the worst arms I've drawn. I'm getting worse at drawing as this goes along. So I was running away and of course my cousin saw me and wanted to follow. Oh, my cousin was just just thought this we were having fun and he's just running along too. Which cousin should I draw? I've got 13 of them. Pick one. The 13th one. I think he's probably about two. So we're just going to draw him. He's <laughs> He's, he's coming. So anyway, as we were running away from this shark, unfortunately I could not move my arms and legs. And he was a lot faster than me. So the shark caught up with him and bit him on the leg. Oh, jeez, man. And now I've got to draw another shark. Can I look up what a shark looks like? No. Great. I think it's better if, if we learn together. A fish. I mean, it's closer. Angry. His leg is in a shark now and he's like, that's what a baby sounds like. I feel like the only reason the shark attacked my cousin was because my cousin was faster than me and therefore more of a challenge. Because I'm, I'm, I'm in the background over here. I'm just like shocked. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe it. What happened next? When I went over, I saw that the shark had already turned his attention to him and I knew he was dead. That does scan. I mean, if a two-year-old's leg gets bitten off by a shark, throw out the whole baby. It's done. That baby's done. The thought of something killing him was hard for me to comprehend. I need to draw me at the age of seven struggling to comprehend death. That seems accurate. My grandparents in the crowd ran over and started yelling and screaming. When they finally turned around, they were in shock to see that I was alive. Yeah, I somehow sacrificed a baby. Go me? I'll draw the dead baby in the background. It just looks like I don't care, but the truth is I'm struggling to comprehend death. So we'll draw my grandparents. So there's my grandma and there's my granddad. My grandma has eyes. She's one of them kind of quirky grandmas with eyes. Oh, oh. My grandfather's first instinct was to laugh. I was covered in blood and the shark was gone. Okay, I was wrong earlier. My granddad was not shocked. Fucking loves it. Yeah! He loves this situation. He hated my cousin and I was covered in blood. Specifically baby blood. I'm covered in blood. There's blood everywhere. My cousin's never fully recovered from his injury. Yeah, that's called dying. The deep memory of the shark attack has stayed with me throughout my life. There we go. Oh, that's That nice. was the story. What an amazing childhood you had. I learned a lot. It was a growth experience. <laughs> on my 16th birthday, I headed out to my local YMCA and jumped on the biggest loser track. My goal was to lose 30 pounds. Also weirdly accurate. I, I really was desperately trying to lose two stone uh, when I was 16. This is kind of creepy. What does YMCA stand for? 
Young Men's Christian Association. Young Men's Christian Association? Well, we gotta extend that sign, haven't we? Yum cat! My goal was to lose 30 pounds. That sounds like a lot. There was no set goal. I would be happy to lose 10 pounds. I was certain it would come off easier than the first time. Well, what do you know? I lost the 30 pounds. You wanna draw a little montage? I'm gonna draw a little montage. I gotta lift them little weights. That's a great drawing. I love that a lot. It's me running. And what else do you do to lose weight? You pray at the Young Man's Christian Association. Getting those spiritual gains, boy. And that was the sweatiest task of all. Drenching and sweat. What do you know? I lost the 30 pounds. And then some. But to be honest, that was a little short-lived. Now when I look at myself in the mirror, I cringe. I weigh more than I ever have. I now officially weigh more than the sum total of all the bodies of all my family members put together. And let's face it, you can't blame that one on aging alone. You know when I did the, um, speaking to the robots thing and then I felt like I was getting harassed by a real human? Poker's your fat belly. What the fuck? I feel like that's happening again, but I have to draw it because that's what this video is. <laughs> Ugh, this is brutal, dude. Ah, uh, me cringing in a mirror, and this is really depressing. Oh, this really sucks, dude. Oh, man. Oh, let's just draw a mirror. You're doing okay. That was mean. <laughs> It's all well and good telling a not a too far off version of my life using AI, but let's take advantage of this and find out how it's all gonna end. On the day I died, my age was going to be about 42. To mark the moment, I received a shot of the drug that was meant to kill me. A mystery. A mystery. What do I look like at about 42? I have not stopped spiking my hair. I have had a midlife crisis and instead of having a spiky beard, I now just have a goatee. This is who I will be. Why do I look like Daddy Pig? <laughs> <laughs> I had just received a shot of the drug that was meant to kill me. So here we're drawing an evil doctor. Maybe it's a doctor from the very beginning. Oh, he's old now and he's here to finish what he started. To mark the moment, I received a shot of the drug that was meant to kill me. Three times! This caused me to vomit violently, then fall asleep. Fantastic! Okay, here we go. There's a bit of corn in there. Just one. Just, yeah, one, just one little bit. I got in there by accident. I didn't mean... I didn't eat it. I don't know how I got in there. The doctors decided this meant I was dead and worked to resuscitate me. They're the ones that tried to kill me with a drug three times. This continued for about 10 minutes until a doctor informed me that I was still alive. I fucking hate it when they do that. All right, so we got a doctor here and he is working really hard to resuscitate me. I, I'm just gonna continue drawing the doctors as fucking exhausted. I feel like he he's bringing me back to life just to kill me again. Electric. <laughs> I was told later that they had been able to restart my heart. The thing that brought me back was hearing a wee child screaming very loudly. That was my sign to them that I was still alive. This did nothing. It was the little wee child going, ba, 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 my little baby. It's wearing a hat, but you can't see it. What kind of hat? Propeller hat. Oh, nice. The only hat children wear. Yeah, that's true. Stupid. The doctor who tried to poison me, however, should have been scared. I kicked him like a mule and broke his nose. He was the one who should have been scared. A thing I've already made clear. I'm a good writer. I mean, sure, he poisoned me and then resuscitated me. You better believe I'm getting my fucking revenge. <laughs> My hands are here, and I've just fucking booted the, the, the bastard. Get the fuck out of here, boy! Is that clear yet? Support the NHS. I then tried to sober the doctors up. I thought it was necessary that they know exactly why I was there. Is it clear that what they are is all mouths and the eyes and the head? You know what? Point is, it was necessary to know why I'm here. For revenge, obviously. I said to the doctors, last year I had a bad experience with the doctor, and as we know, it's because he tried to fucking kill me. I think the reason he did it was because he was afraid of me. If I ever see him, I will kill him. I assume that's referring to the doctor who I just kicked like a mule. I told the doctors that if they ever talked to him, I would come after them too. The doctor on call, to my surprise, shook his head. He said, what would you have me do? Just turn him away? Yeah, dude, you f you, you get fired if you try to kill people. If we fire every doctor that tried to kill someone, that we'd be out of doctors. He told me that I should take care of the problem, and I promised that I would. I told him I would make sure the doctor knew how to take care of himself. We said goodbye. 
And that was the end of that. I never saw the doctor again. He was dead by next week. Oh, let me just draw that, shall I? Doctor there. You know what, Elliot? Oh no! Yeah, Elliot. I'm pissing on him. I went to that motherfucker's grave and I pissed on him. Pissed in his dead little face! <laughs> And then I died at the ripe old age of 52. Who's pissing on my grave? Probably Eddie. Probably Eddie. Why? Loves to piss. He does <laughs> love to piss. That's why we call him the piss man. <laughs> That was my life. I hate to break it to you, but everything in the Complete History Me series, a lie. I was born amidst cabbage. Shark ate my cousin's leg, lost a lot of weight, and then put it back up. No, that one did, that one did actually happen. And then I died at the age of 52. So, you know, that's a harrowing thing I have to know and look forward to. 2042, baby. Guess I'll die. Hey, we got a fucking Patreon. What we do on the Patreon? We got like videos, we got uncut versions of these videos. Was there stuff cut from this video? I don't know, maybe, but if there was, it's on the Patreon. We got Discord, hang out there, play some games every now and then, insult each other. We got a fucking podcast, want an extra hour of me and my friends every month, doing shit and talking about stuff. You can have that on Patreon, or you, you don't have to. Literally, you can just not. But thank you very much for watching, and as I have never said before, I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, that's a rude word! Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Thank you, patrons. We appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.